the journey of human civilization led him to improvise his skills like anything as a man who was homo sapiens today he is homo sapo sapiens or you can call them homo sapien sapiens what does this mean this means that mankind of that early age is in modern era became doubly wise homo sapiens sapiens means mankind is bestowed with double intellectual ability and in that long journey writing played such a pivotal importance that the knowledge that mankind received from one generation or his forefathers he transported it to the coming generations and if human being is leading and sitting on the top of the universe probably writing is the key cause of the same early age man started writing with pictograph on the walls of the caves then he he started using bark of the trees leaves of the trees for sharing his information to the desired person or passing that information for generations to come in that complete era and in that long journey of thousands and thousands of years man has tried to develop his knowledge by producing bronze scripts that was also known as tamrapatra then he started writing on the fabric cloth then human knowledge get through another journey of significance by the time of the advent of printing press the ancient press of india they started documenting the key information and for that pages and papers became of great significance good printing presses from heidelberg and from england and other places they try to publish newspapers earlier mankind used to write by hand he came to 
put down his ideas, creative thoughts in the form of poetry, drama, and a lot many kind of different kind of literature. Had there not been this writing, we might not be aware about who Kalidas was, who Shakespeare was, and Milton, Tulsi, John Keats, Jaisankar Prasad, Shelley, Nirala, all were. Even the tra rich traditional knowledge that is available in the form of epical literature of the world or epics of India, the largest available knowledge of the biggest epic Iliad and the second no biggest largest epic Mahabharata was carried forward to the generations that kept coming to the modern civilization. Today, because of printing press, we are having the rich information of Greco-Roman civilization, old Chinese civilization, ancient Indian civilization, Arab civilization, Indus Valley civilization. Everything is available to us because of writing. For having the knowledge of mathematics, physics, astronomy, astrology, spirituality, or any other branch of knowledge, if we are having the ancient information available to us, it's only because of writing. With the advent of ICT, Information and Communication Technology, there came the nascent concept of departure from the pieces of paper. And the whole print media was later on termed as dead tree media. What you call dead tree media? Putting more your words on the piece of paper. And then what we are, who we are today, it is just because of the writing skill. No doubt, the later writing of today is the modern form of messages conveyed earlier via messengers. The whole of the post office network of yesterday used to carry information from one end of the globe to the another end and still it is doing the marvelous service. What are they doing? They are carrying the significant writing and making it reach to the intended reader. Then in that journey we found telegraphic writing. We found 
extensive writing, elaborative writing, aphoristic writing. And the multiple writing styles. Which is taking a new form of digital writing today. When it comes to digital writing or writing on technology intervented or intervened platforms such as on WhatsApp, on Facebook, blogs, on social media, Twitter, etc. Or the writing that is being uh, floated from this corner to, of the world to the rest of the world in the form of emails, SMSs, that sort messaging system, and mail writing and blogs they are narrativizing the great story of the soldiers of the pen the legacy of repository of knowledge that we are having in the form of traditional libraries that are well in the process of becoming digital libraries. A lot many digital knowledge repository that we are having today like National Digital Library of India or various other E repository, Shod Ganga, Shod Sindhu, where writing is leading the story of growth and development of human civilization underneath, flowing underneath its veins. What writing of today is the product of the writing of yesterday. May it be Padini who prescribed the alphabets of Sanskrit or may it be Muski in western part or IPA or RP or Arabic alphabet all these alphabets are carrying in the form of words the legacy of Classical age, medieval age, and modern age, and they will keep telling the legacy and handling it over, handing it over to the postmodern era of human civilization. Let us talk about that how significant the writing is. Francis Bacon said that reading maketh a full man, conference a ready man, whereas writing an exact man. Let me underline this phrase, writing an exact man. All the industries, professional scenario, and 
IT world is running on writing whether it may be coding on computers, the mathematical calculations used for launching missiles, everything is possible because of flawless writing. And such is the significance of writing. What we were, what, who we are, what we will be in the years to come will be documented in writing. Earlier, I taught you that significance of writing skills. And in that significance of writing skills and styles of writing, we discussed about the multiple types of writing available in the form of different styles. But broadly speaking, writings can be categorized into two parts, subjective writing and objective writing. You are already aware about these two types of writing where uh, we can say in a nutshell subjective writing stands for using personal language, whereas objective writing stands for using impersonal and objective language. Subjective writings are useful for personal per correspondences, writing story, poetry, literature, etc. But objective writing is very, very objective and formal writing is very, very significant for the professional success. In terms of objective writing and by mastering objective writing style, one may prove his skills and ace it to the label of professional genet or to scale the professional genet. When we groom ourselves and practice it in the process of writing, we feel that we can communicate by acing this by honing this, by harnessing this skill of language learning, which is one of the four skills of language learning, but the final one that is called LSRW, where L stands for listening, S stands for speaking, and R stands for reading and W stands for writing. We are aware that in any skill of language learning, we begin with listening, then speaking, then identifying the alphabets of that particular language and reading, and finally writing. Writing is a skill that requires huge training, massive training sessions. 
and out of that training the outcome of that training leads to professional success when we are talking about importance of writing so we need to focus that what is so significant in writing and i think i have deliberated upon it when we use language very often we think that what kind of language is to be adopted in our writing should we write to express or should we write to impress this is the question that should be ponder over expression can never be compromised in the desire of impression simplistic expressions are the key demand of the profession and so we must take into our mind that we should write to express the second type of writing that i would like to take up here people keep in their mind that they should write to impress if you want to write to impress or your focus is impression only you must focus on impressive writing but impressive writing is useful in literary expressions or or in literary writings and there will always be some improvisation in expressive writing and in impressive writing as well so the third type of writing you can take expressive impression or impressive expression if you go on rating on four point scale so the most sought after kind of writing will be impressive expression and the second best kind of writing will be expression and third will be expressive impression so on the rating of that the best kind of writing is impressive expression second one is expressive impression and third one is expression and finally impressive writing but when you rate on the point of view of professional word you will find that for professional success the most underlined phrase will be right to express and that is where the professional demand is required when you talk of different field of writing 
like literary writing or writing for literary success, then your expressive impressions will be highly important. So it is not that who, which one is better and which one is worse. All are having their utility and their significance in different, different scenario. But the most important thing is that expression must never be compromised. So you should go for expressive writing in professional world. Now let us talk about the writing process. When we try to discuss on writing process, the process of writing involves the pinpointed idea generation and to the expression of that idea on a piece of paper so that we may communicate flawlessly, impressively, expressively and exactly. While talking of writing skills and talking of writing process, for professional success, what should be most significant? That the idea that is coming in our mind, we should express it in an unadulterated form. What we wish to write that should be conveyed accurately. The masses should be clear, crisp, concise, and to the point. These are the few of qualifications of a good writer. But for professional success, we need to go for editing skills as well. A writer and an editor are two different personalities. The religion of a writer is to express his ideas in an unadulterated form. But the qualification of the editor is to look for the flaws and eradicate it, remove it. When we talk about the writer's view, or writing process when we try to document the process of writing, we will realize that the process of writing involves three parts. Pre-writing, drafting and rewriting. What is pre-writing? For professional success, one must not aspire for writing at one go. Rather, the most required idea is to point down, to pen down, to note down the significant points and then structure it into the form of sentence. 
and the second step you yourself is advised to assume the role of editor to cut down cartel remove identify and remove from identification to the removal of one unwanted material that is already produced in your first draft that is you know pre writing then adding it grammatical expression clearing it grammatically making it correct and then finally you know drafting second stage of the process of writing is drafting and finally fairing it out in the that is that process is known as rewriting if you are methodical in your approach of writing so pre writing drafting and rewriting if one writing content is moved from these three phase, phases means you are well into the process of writing and you have followed religiously the process of writing so there is one more pattern also that is not described in your syllabus or prescribed in your syllabus sometime people give training of free writing free writing means certain idea is given to you and it you are free to write whatsoever is coming in your mind then uh, that is fourth fourth step so if you are you want to go for three step formula pre writing drafting and rewriting if you want to go for four stage formula so free writing pre writing drafting and rewriting so in this is four stage formula where free writing is also inserted and you are supposed to write whatsoever is coming to your mind as the uh, free writing then pre writing you need to document it in the form structural form and then you need to go for editing and uh, drafting it again and finally preparing the uh rewriting form and that these four stage formula is also described here for making uh, one writing or improvising a writing that that undergoes from all these four stages and ultimately comes to the uh, end product this is all about from my side if you have any question please ask over to you यदि आपको कुछ पूछना है तो आप हमसे सवाल पूछ सकते हैं मेरा पार्ट खत्म डियर स्टूडेंट्स हमने जो आपको बताया आज हमने दो टॉपिक्स पढ़े वी कंक्लूडेड टू टॉपिक्स इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ राइटिंग स्किल्स राइटिंग एंड राइटिंग प्रोसेस प्री राइटिंग ड्राफ्टिंग एंड री राइटिंग for knowing the importance we came to the point that since the dawn of human civilization the whole journey of mankind is possible today only because he was able to write and transfer that information of their traditional knowledge to the next generation clear agar aaj hum sabhyata ke is mukam tak pahunche hain तो हमारी लेखन कला के कारण चाहे वो आध्यात्म हो चाहे नक्षत्र विज्ञान हो चाहे मैथमेटिक्स हो चाहे साहित्य हो चाहे महाकाव्य हो हमने सभ्यता की इस यात्रा में राइटिंग के कारण जो कि कभी गुफाओं की दीवारों पर किलों की दीवारों पर पिक्टोग्राफिक रूवे में रहा हो या फिर वो पाणिनी के द्वारा दिए गए ग्रामर के अल्फाबेट के बाद उसको सेंटेंसेस में वर्ड्स में स्ट्रक्चर किया गया हो राइटिंग एंड रिमेन दी ओनली सिंगल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कैरियर ऑफ नॉलेज फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू दी जनदर जनरेशन राइटिंग के माध्यम से ही हमारे फोर फादर हमसे अपनी बातचीत या जो मैसेज हमें देना चाहते थे उन्होंने इन चीजों को हमारे तक पहुंचाया एंड ये राइटिंग इसलिए इम्पोर्टेंट है एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ राइटिंग हमारे जीवन में है कि आज हम आईसीटी के माध्यम से तकनीकी के इस स्तर तक पहुंच गए मैथमेटिक्स के इस स्तर तक पहुंच गए 
चाहे वो कोई भी ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग हो या नॉलेज कोई भी ब्रांच ऑफ नॉलेज हो राइटिंग के कारण आज हम यहाँ तक पहुंचे और राइटिंग के तीन स्टेजेज होते हैं प्री राइटिंग ड्राफ्टिंग एंड री राइटिंग ये तीन स्टेजेस से होके राइटिंग को इम्प्रोवाइज और फ्लॉलेस बनाया जा सकता है ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स रिमूव किए जा सकते हैं एक और मॉडल है राइटिंग का जिसमें प्रोसेस का वो फोर स्टेज बताता है फ्री राइटिंग प्री राइटिंग ड्राफ्टिंग एंड री राइटिंग अगर आपकी राइटिंग इतने स्टेजेस से होके निकल रही है सो डेफिनेटली डेट विल बी फिल्टर वन बहुत सारे उद्देश्य होते हैं राइटिंग के जिसमें से है ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ राइटिंग में भी डिफाइंड एज राइट टू एक्सप्रेस राइट टू इम्प्रेस एक्सप्रेसिव इम्प्रेशन और इम्प्रेसिव एक्सप्रेशन हम इनमें से कौन सा फॉलो करते हैं कोई भी बुरा नहीं है कोई भी अच्छा नहीं है बल्कि जगह जगह और यूज के हिसाब से उद्देश्य के हिसाब से इन चारों का इम्पोर्टेंस होता है यदि हम प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड में जाते हैं तो हमारा फोकस होना चाहिए राइट टू एक्सप्रेस और यदि हम साहित्यिक वर्ड में जाते हैं तो हमारा फोकस होना चाहिए राइट टू इम्प्रेस और इन दोनों में भी अगर हम चाहे और इम्प्रोवाइज करना चाहे तो सदा सदा के लिए दो और वर्जन होंगे एक्सप्रेसिव इम्प्रेशन या इम्प्रेसिव एक्सप्रेशन जब हम बात करेंगे बेस्ट काइंड ऑफ राइटिंग की होलिस्टिकली तो इम्प्रेसिव एक्सप्रेशन will be on the top and expressive impression will be in the bottom but right to express and right to impress these are the two major goals of writing abhi aapko koi sawal puchna hai to feel free to ask आपके मन में कोई प्रश्न उठ रहा है तो सवाल पूछे या फिर बताएं आपके लंच का समय हो गया है हम लेक्चर को यही कंक्लूड करें लंच का समय हो गया है गुड बेटा थैंक यू सर आई एम गोइंग टू कंक्लूड द लेक्चर थैंक यू ऑल फॉर बीइंग सच बींगे थैंक यू सर 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 थैंक्स